Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'm benchmarking the RX 6600 versus the RTX 3060. So, the newest GPU from AMD on the low end and the lowest from Nvidia at the moment that the 6600 has been released to compete against. We'll be seeing what kind of performance difference there is between the two, if there is any. We start off with CSGO at high settings, and starting at 1080p, the 6600 averages 284 FPS, with a 1% of 130 and a 0.1% of 28, compared to the 3060 getting an average of 319 FPS, with a 1% of 115 and a 0.1% of 76. But both GPUs are not being utilised fully here though. Then, at 1440p, the 6600 averages 274 FPS with a 1% of 145 and a 0.1% of 48. Then the 3060 is averaging 253 FPS with a 1% of 135 and a 0.1% of 94. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 158 FPS with a 1% of 50 and a 0.1% of 15. Whereas the 3060 averages 150 FPS with a 1% of 96 and a 0.1% of 81. The next game is Dirt 5 and an ultra high with ray tracing off. At 1080p the 6600 is averaging 93 FPS with a 1% of 82 and a 0.1% of 78. With the 3060 averaging 91 FPS with a 1% of 79 and a 0.1% of 74. Then at 1440p the 6600 is averaging 71 FPS with a 1% of 64 and a 0.1% of 60, whereas the 3060 averages 71 FPS with a 1% of 62 and a 0.1% of 41. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 44 FPS with a 1% of 38 and a 0.1% of 37, with the 3060 averaging 47 FPS with a 1% of 40 and a 0.1% of 39. Turning on ray tracing, and now at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 76 FPS with a 1% of 67 and a 0.1% of 58 and the 3060 is averaging 78 fps with a 1% of 68 and a 0.1% of 67 and at 1440p the 6600 is averaging 58 fps with a 1% of 51 and a 0.1% of 46 with the 3060 averaging 60 fps with a 1% of 52 and a 0.1% of 48 and then at 4k the 6600 is averaging 34 fps with a 1% of 30 and a 0.1% of 28. With the 3060 averaging 38 FPS, with a 1% of 33 and a 0.1% of 31. Moving on to Doom Eternal next, and an Ultra Nightmare. At 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 131 FPS, with a 1% of 91 and a 0.1% of 29. With the 3060 averaging 178 FPS, with a 1% of 117 and 0.1% of 101. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 90 93 FPS with a 1% of 72 and a 0.1% of 28. Compared to the 3060 which is averaging 127 FPS with a 1% of 97 and 0.1% of 89. And at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 50 FPS with 1% of 38 and 0.1% of 17. Whereas the 3060 is averaging 75 FPS with a 1% of 57 and 0.1% of 53. We move on to Evil Genius 2 and an Ultra with FSR off. The 6600 averages 194 FPS with a 1% of 120 and a 0.1% of 107. With the 3060 getting an average of 212 FPS with a 1% of 176 and a 0.1% of 172. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 128 FPS with a 1% of 103 and a 0.1% of 88. With the 3060 averaging 134 FPS, with a 1% of 117 and a 0.1% of 115. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 61 FPS, with a 1% of 53 and a 0.1% of 48. With the 3060 averaging 69 FPS, with a 1% of 62 and a 0.1% of 61. Next up is Fortnite, and on the Epic preset at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 90 FPS with a 1% of 79 and a 0.1% of 42. With the 3060 averaging 123 FPS with a 1% of 54 and a 0.1% of 26. Up to 1440p and the 6600 is averaging 57 FPS with a 1% of 24 and 0.1% of 9. Compared to the 3060 averaging 78 FPS for 1% of 58 and 0.1% of 15. Then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 26 FPS for 1% of 11 and a 0.1% of 6. And the 3060 is averaging 40 FPS for 1% of 33 and a 0.1% of 18. Onto New World on very high settings, and at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 75 FPS with a 1% of 32 
and a 0.1% of 13, with the 3060 averaging 93 FPS, with a 1% of 52 and a 0.1% of 25. Up to 1440p, and the 6600 averages 51 FPS, with a 1% of 14 and 0.1% of 8. Then the 3060 is averaging 67 FPS, with a 1% of 50 and 0.1% of 41. Then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 26 FPS, with a 1% of 21 and a 0.1% of 14, with the 3060 averaging 35 FPS, for 1% of 31 and a 0.1% of 30. Rainbow Six Siege is next. On Ultra and at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 261 FPS, for 1% of 199 and a 0.1% of 160, with the 3060 averaging 345 FPS, with a 1% of 225 and a 0.1% of 159. At 1440p, and the 6600 is averaging 161 FPS, with a 1% of 130 and a 0.1% of 120, with the 3060 averaging 230 FPS with a 1% of 175 and a 0.1% of 150. Up to 4K, and the 6600 is averaging 81 FPS, with a 1% of 64 and a 0.1% of 63, with the 3060 averaging 131 FPS, with a 1% of 108 and a 0.1% of 102. Moving on to Resident Evil Village on high, and at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 184 FPS, with a 1% of 88 and a 0.1% of 75, with the 3060 averaging 186 FPS, with a 1% of 138 and a 0.1% of 92. Then at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 119 FPS, with a 1% of 81 and 0.1% of 50. And then the 3060 is averaging 127 FPS, for 1% of 99 and 0.1% of 68. And at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 58 FPS, with a 1% of 35 and 0.1% of 26. With the 3060 averaging 71 FPS, with a 1% of 56 and 0.1% of 51. We also tested it with ray tracing on, and at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 56 FPS, with a 1% of 42 and a 0.1% of 27. With the 3060 averaging 86 FPS, a 1% of 71 and a 0.1% of 51. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 49 FPS for 1% of 37 and a 0.1% of 31. With the 3060 averaging 70 FPS with a 1% of 58 and a 0.1% of 41. Up to 4K and the 6600 is averaging 34 FPS for 1% of 27 and a 0.1% of 22. With the 3060 averaging 50 FPS with a 1% of 42 and a 0.1% of 31. We move on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and at 1080p on Ultra, the 6600 is averaging 109 FPS, with a 1% of 86 and a 0.1% of 74. With the 3060 averaging 120 FPS, with a 1% of 105 and a 0.1% of 100. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 73 FPS, with a 1% of 62 and a 0.1% of 59. With the 3060 averaging 78 FPS, with a 1% of 71 and a 0.1% of 65. And then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 38 FPS, with a 1% of 34 and a 0.1% of 32. Then the 3060 is averaging 44 FPS, for 1% of 40 and a 0.1% of 38. And turning on ray tracing, the 6600 is averaging 33 FPS, with a 1% of 25 and a 0.1% of 23. With the 3060 averaging 55 FPS, with a 1% of 47 and a 0.1% of 45. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 24 FPS, with a 1% of 17 and a 0.1% of 16. With the 3060 averaging 34 FPS, with a 1% of 28 and a 0.1% of 27. And at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 9 FPS, with a 1% of 7 and a 0.1% of 6. And then the 3060 is averaging 18 FPS, with a 1% of 14 and a 0.1% of 14 as well. And lastly we move to Warzone, and at 1080p high settings, the 6600 is averaging 150 FPS, with a 1% of 54 and a 0.1% of 20. With the 3060 averaging 148 FPS, with a 1% of 108 and a 0.1% of 25. And at 1440 p the 6600 is averaging 104 FPS, with a 1% of 44 and a 0.1% of 19. With the 3060 averaging 107 FPS, with a 1% of 79 and a 0.1% of 19. And at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 61 FPS, with a 1% of 36 and a 0.1% of 11. With the 3060 averaging 64 FPS, 
of a 1% of 47 and a 0.1% of 14. So there you have it, the RX 6600 versus RTX 3060 benchmark. 3060 does perform better the majority of the time, especially when it comes to ray tracing performance. So for the same MSRP, it is an interesting release, but I suppose it depends as to what you can actually buy. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.